Almost 7.8 billion people around the world and more than half of them are active internet users. If you are creating a website of your own, then you have to compete with approx 1.2 billion websites present on the internet. Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we'll take you through the top 5 web development projects to work on in 2022. We'll cover everything in this video from basic web development projects to some advanced level projects. Don't worry if you are a newbie or an advanced level developer. This video will help you in different aspects. We'll start this video with what is web development. Following that, we'll go through the two different parts of web development, front-end web development and the back-end web development. After that, we'll take you through the top 5 web development projects. We'll discuss each project in detail. Once we are done with the projects, we'll also give you some idea about the salary insights of a web developer in different profiles. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple technology videos. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for the latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. So without any further delay, let's get started. Tech giants like Google, Facebook, YouTube and every other app we use in today's world started as a website. Today, websites also play a vital role for every company. These websites actually build. Web development is the branch of computer science that deals with creating and maintaining a website using different technologies. A website is usually divided into two parts, the front end and the back end of any website. Let's move ahead in this video and we'll discuss about them and the technologies used in the creation of the front end and the back end of any website. Let's start this video with front end web development. The front end refers to the visible part of any website. Anything the user come across while going through a website is known as the website's front end. Certain technologies are used to create an eye-catching front end of a website. Some popular technologies are HTML. Hypertext markup language is used to create the layout of a website. It uses a series of elements to define the basic structure of a website. CSS. Cascading style sheet is used to style a web pages. Whether it be the design, the layout, or the display variation for different screen sizes, CSS is the go to technology for everything. JavaScript JavaScript is a scripting language that adds interactivity and responsiveness to a web page. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript can be used together to create a fully functional front end of a website. Although, these technologies can be used to create the front end, but several other techniques can also be used for the front end web development. React. It is a UI development library that is used to create fast, simple, and scalable user interfaces with the help of different extensions like the Flux and React Native for complete architecture support. Angular. Angular is a JavaScript framework used to create single page web applications. We have jQuery. jQuery is a lightweight JavaScript library that makes it easier to use JavaScript on a web page. Vue, another JavaScript framework used to build web interfaces and single page applications for both desktop and mobile using Electron framework. All these technologies can be used to create the front end of a website. Let's move ahead and we'll now go through the back end web development. Backend in simple terms refers to behind the scene operations of a website. Anything that doesn't come in contact with the user directly is known as the backend of any website. We simply can't see or interact with this part of the website. Some technologies used for backend development are PHP. Preprocessor Hypertext is an open source, widely used server side scripting language, specially suited for web development. 
It can be embedded with HTML for web development. Node.js Node.js is a JavaScript based, single threaded, open source and cross platform runtime environment for building fast and scalable server side and networking applications. Express.js Express is a Node.js based web application framework that provides broad feature for building web and mobile applications. Java Java is one of the most used programming languages for developing dynamic web applications. It allows us to easily develop and deploy a web application on a server with the help of technologies like Servlet and JSP. Certain databases also fall under the category of web development. Some most commonly used databases in web development are MySQL and MongoDB. If you already have an idea about some of these technologies, then you are good to start with projects. Let's move ahead and we'll now discuss the top 5 web development projects to work on. These projects will not only help you understand web development more efficiently, but will also make your resume more interactive at the same time. The first project we have on our list is a gaming application. Certain gaming applications you can make if you are a beginner to a project. You can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery to create the application's front-end. For the back-end, you can use Node.js and MongoDB. It's not necessary to use these technologies. Instead of that, you can use any technology you are comfortable with. Once done with the application, you can also deploy the web application using Java. You can also mention this project in your resume, which will greatly impact the interviewer. Also, you will learn a lot about how the different front-end and back-end technologies come together to create a good-looking web page. The next project we have on our list is an e-commerce website. Creating an e-commerce website is fun and helpful in understanding the concept of web development. You can create a website for local vendors or small scale businesses and mention that in your CV. You can add several aspects like login, the sign up page and the contact page. Also, an e-commerce website attracts a lot of traffic. It will impress an interviewer or anyone who goes through your CV. So, any website you make needs to be unique from the existing ones. It will help you in standing out from the crowd. The next project we'll discuss is a clone website or application. You can create a clone website like Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platform. In fact, you can create clones of websites like Spotify, Netflix, or any other OTT platforms. For example, if you are making a clone for Netflix, make sure it looks more attractive, whether it be colors, text, images, or anything. It should look like you have created something of your own. While creating such projects, don't forget to make them unique and easygoing for the user. By easygoing, I mean the user should not face any problem while going through the website. The next project idea we have on our list is for freelancer developers. You must have heard of platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. Similarly, you can create a website where developers can connect with fellow developers and work on projects together. The number of freelancers is huge worldwide and all they look for is an opportunity to work. For example, if two people know the front end and back end, they can connect through your website and come together for a project. You can also mention all the companies which look forward to collaborating with freelancers for several projects. It will increase the website's traffic and help you level up your skills. The last idea we have in our list is the most useful for any web developer. It can help you in getting a high paying job as well. The idea is to create a portfolio website for yourself. Why is it necessary to develop a portfolio website? Being a web developer with hands-on experience in so many projects, you can't mention each and every project on your resume. In that case, you can create a website to mention all the projects and give the user a brief description of what you achieved. It will also increase the user movement in your other website because if a user goes through your portfolio and likes any of your projects, they will definitely open the link to your other websites and you will automatically get some traffic.
you might be wondering why we didn't discuss different technologies for each project. So we started this video and discussed all the technologies used for creating the front end and the back end of any website. Then we assume that you guys already have an idea about what those technologies are and when you should use any particular technology. If you already know about these technologies, that's an advantage for you guys. Otherwise, understand your requirements, do some research and then go ahead with the correct technology. Now that we have discussed all the web development projects you can work on, it's time to move on and discuss the salary trends of a web developer. We'll go through the salary insights of various profiles in web development in the US and India. It will help you in choosing your career ahead. It's about four different jobs you can land on in the area of web development. We'll discuss the average salary of each of them. Being skilled in different web technologies can help you find different profiles job. You can become a front-end web developer, a back-end web developer, a UI UX designer, or a full stack web developer. Let's discuss each of these jobs and what salary you can get if you become one of them. We'll start with front-end web developer. A front-end web developer plays a vital role in attracting traffic to a website. Users will definitely go through a visually appealing website. This is what makes front-end web development one of the highest paying job role in web development. According to a survey conducted by Indeed.com, a front-end web developer in India can earn up to 3.76 lakhs annually. On the other hand, a front-end developer in the US can earn up to $93,000 per annum. Moving ahead, let's discuss about a second job role, the back-end developer. The back-end developer plays a similarly important role in the working of a website. Along with the visual aspects of a website, Render time is a key factor in gaining user interest. The backend developer is responsible for creating and maintaining the website. They must tie up with the frontend developer to make a fully functional website. A backend developer in India has an average salary of rupees 5.7 lakhs per annum. On the other hand, the same backend developer in the US earns around $95,000 per annum. Next up, We'll discuss about the UI UX designer. A UI UX designer is responsible for creating user-friendly interfaces for an application using tools like Zeppelin, InVision, InDesign, etc. This profile is a bit different from other web development profiles because the technologies used for this are different from traditional web development technologies. Still, we are considering it in the list because in the end, a UI UX designer also works on a website or an application. According to Indeed.com, a UI UX designer in India has an average salary of Rs 3.6 lakhs per annum. A UI UX designer in the US has an average salary of $96,000. And the difference is quite large in both the countries. The last profile we will discuss in this video is of a full stack web developer. It is one of the best web development jobs in the world. A full stack web developer is someone who is skilled in both the front end and the back end web development of the website, from building front end architectures and servers to managing databases. A full stack developer can do everything. A full stack web developer in India has an average salary of Rs 7.8 lakhs per annum, which is on the higher side if compared to a front end web developer and a back end web developer. The same job in the US can get you a salary of over $100,000 annually. So choose your career wisely and make sure to work on the projects mentioned in the video. This will surely help you in different ways. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment your doubts below and the experts will answer them for you. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Learn. Thank you.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.